Alright, today I'm going to do a quick video on just some general maintenance on a genera generator. Uh, this generator is model number 0055040. Um, it is a 17 kilowatt and it was manufactured in 2009. Um, I've already ran the generator um, as well as, well obviously opened it up, pulled the front cover off. Uh, one thing I noticed about my generator is that uh, to open it up, to use a key I actually have to push down a little bit on the top. Uh, the first time I went to open it I wasn't sure what was wrong so if it's the first time you've opened your generator, maybe moved into a new house, uh, just realize that you're going to maybe have to push down on the, the top um, cover of the generator. Alright, um, I'm going to put a, uh, information in the uh, comment section, or actually I'm sorry in the description. Um, of, of what I bought here um, to, to do this but let's go through it a little bit first of all um, obviously your air filter your oil filter uh, these are the plugs uh, champion plug uh, it takes a 5 8 socket uh, spark plug socket's best uh, then obviously your, your uh, ratchets um, maybe some extensions if you need them uh, you have a, uh, a funnel as well as a uh, oil uh, filter wrench, some gloves, and uh, spark plug measurement tool just to make sure the gap is set correct. All right, I went ahead and uh, started emptying the oil. Like I said, I've already run it, so it is warm. Um, pulled this tube out here. I put a brick right here just to hold it in place, um, and then took uh, this yellow cap off of the end. Um, I did notice a little bit of uh, came out milky at first. Uh, probably it's just sometimes maybe get a little bit of water in them just from condensation, um, and then because they don't run as much if you if you don't let it run for a long time, they just run once a week. Uh, it has a hard time burning that off. But you can see this oil is still pretty clear. Uh, I changed it about two years ago. Um, you should change it about every two years, and it's uh, well, maybe could last a little longer. I don't know, maybe not with that water, but. All right, sorry about the wind here. Um, right some wind noise, but uh, we're going to go ahead. Well, the oil is draining here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull the spark plugs. Um, so I already pulled the cap off of there. Um, here's a plug. I already loosened this one up. Um, and then as well, it's sort of hard to see, but back around here is the second one. Uh, I've loosened them both up, and now I'll just go ahead and pull them out. All right, so I put in the new spark plugs. You can see the outer one here. Uh, one thing I think I forgot to mention was I did go ahead and check the gap. Uh, it's supposed to be uh, 0.04 inches. Um, so I, I double checked that, make sure they were good. They did come in good, so I didn't have to adjust them at all. Um, I'm done draining, so I put the uh, yellow cap back on there. And now I'm going to uh, put the pull off the um, oil filter, and then as well, I'm going to pull. Screw these two parts here and put the air filter in. All right, I've done a few a few more things here. Um, we'll start off down at the oil filter. Uh, I think last time I put it on, I over tightened it, and I just had a hell of a time getting it off. Um, one thing I should note is originally I started with a pan full of oil. Not a great idea. Uh, I had to get all that out of there, um, and then I worked on the the air filter or the oil filter. You can tell by the crushed side of the oil filter. I had some issues getting it off, uh, but I eventually got it off. Now, up here on the air filter, um, like I said before, unscrew those, um, and then you're just going to pull the air filter out. Here we have the new air filter. I'm going to put that in place here. Very simple. Too complicated. I'm going to put this on top. Um, and then we'll go ahead and screw those two down. Alright, I have the oil filter ready to go. Uh, one thing I should mention is that I did put, you know, just like you would normal oil filter, put a little bit of uh, the motor oil around the seal there, just helps it seal up. And then we'll bring it down here. And we'll go ahead and install it. Sort of hand tighten, and that should be good. 
Uh, now we'll go ahead and do an oil fill here. So we'll fill the oil up in here. Uh, here's your dipstick to check it. Um, it does take 5W, 5W30 uh, full synthetic um, and it takes one and a half quarts. Um, I use the Amazon Basics oil. Um, I've done a lot of research on this online, um, sp specifically on YouTube. It really, really holds up well. I mean, against all the real expensive oils. Um, and this five quarts, I believe, is like 20 bucks. So, honestly, I use it in just about all my stuff. It's really good. It's rated really well. Um, you could watch some videos on it. Some of the uh, ratings that it does have you know, are higher some of the, than some of the stuff you're going to go and buy uh, down at AutoZone. Um, and it rates up there with some of the best oils. So, uh, you know, do your research. See what you think, but that, that's what I use. All right, I went ahead and um, sort of tidied everything up, finished everything up. So I uh, put uh, the oil then obviously in here, uh, 1.5 quarts. Uh, checked the oil here to make sure I had the right level. Put the spark plug uh, wires back on both front and back. Uh, one thing to mention is I actually overfilled it slightly, uh, not paying attention. So I, I drained it out, and there was a lot of still nasty oil in that uh, down here so I think I think I might in the future actually overfill it and then drain it back down to the right level just to make sure you get all that oil out um, out of the system a little bit of oil on there um, so the next thing we'll do is we'll probably go ahead I'll, I'll run it um, for a little while um, I'll also reset um, the oil change on here it doesn't say that it needs one but that I just replaced this unit uh, here, uh, I don't know, a few months back, um, so it, it's not correlated right to the oil changes yet. So after this oil change, it should be correlated. Um, so like I said, I'll start it up, uh, let it run for a little while, check the engine oil again, and then I'll just button everything back up, and it's good to go here for another two years. All right, so one thing I wanted to mention is that before I started all this, I hope I mentioned this, but I did turn this to the off position, so... Um, right right there in the middle and then I want to walk through how to reset um, after you do an oil change so if you just hit escape kind of cursor over to edit hit enter maintenance no you hit that enter once then you can go over to yes and then you go ahead and hit enter again So I believe now it is reset. I'm gonna do it. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and start it. Um, like I said, maintenance has been reset on there. Everything should be ready to go. Check the oil. Uh, double check the, you know, everything I sort of messed with real quick off camera. We're gonna go ahead and we'll change this. Go to off. Then we'll go to manual. I'm done all buttoned back up. Uh, go in and watch the football now. One thing I did want to mention is uh, I've worked with the Generac customer service um, in the past, giving them a call when I have a question. They're really good, so I'm going to put the uh, number uh, down in the description. If you have any questions, just feel free to give them a call. Uh, they, really, they really helped me out a few times and, and gave me some information I needed. All right, thank you.